What's up, YouTube? I'm back with another video. We got Offset Defense Drake and Blast XXX Tentacion for accusing Drake stealing his flow. <clears throat> Subscribe if you're new to the channel. Hit that notification button. Uh, this nigga listening to the uh, interview. <clears throat> That nigga mad as hell. Angry ass. You mad ass. You sad ass. You niggas is silly. You know what I'm saying? That don't lie, nigga. That don't nigga is silly. How you ain't heard of it? That's how you feel? I swear. You ain't heard of you, Sean. I know it, man. Get your ass out of jail. I'm gonna run that shit up. Uh. Your name, man. Mm. Offset, I don't even know how to say his name. Let's check it out. Check it out now. It's funny to me how niggas actually <laughs> get to that spot they've covered for years and they forgot yeah. what it was like when the shoe was on the other foot. Okay, they now become above the fray. They can't really empathize or they can't see it from the perspective. So DJ of Academics on XXX Tentacion side. Obviously, all these chokers that the Quavo and Offset are wearing must be cutting off circulation to their head because I just mm -hmm. heard some stupid shit. That's the funny. reason why I'm calling it stupid shit, even though I fuck with Offset a lot, is because he would have not been saying this three years ago. You know why? Sure. Because three years ago, the Migos was a group that I was doing videos on time and time again on, on YouTube, basically saying, could y'all sure. stop bitching about getting credit? Could y'all stop bitching about who's taking y'all shit without crediting y'all? Make the music, you'll blow up. Now they're yeah. blown up. They forgot they were those people. Oh, now, true. let's talk about the video you guys saw preceding this, right? Offset is- That shit true, though. XXX Tentacion and Drake. He's basically saying, how the fuck Drake- I don't know. Shit, nigga, if X Tentacion and fucking now, Offset got in a fight, I, say, I don't know who will win. Do you really I don't know. Media, my nigga? Do you really not know. know who you're speaking about? I don't know if <laughs> you're just trying to say it because y'all just got y'all second uh, collaboration with yeah. Drake recently with Portland. By the way, that's a hot song. But maybe you're just so hyped off that you can't see it objectively or from the other side. But Offset, do you know Drake's patterns and when he's finding new artists or trying to remix Exactly. It? Where the fuck did he find a rapper named Dave? Okay. <laughs> Where did he find Dave? He's most definitely looking through the underground, sifting through. Nigga said, where did he find Dave? Where the I'm fuck dead. did he find the Migos like five, seven years back? Actually, and, and let's be fair, you guys are buzzing regionally, but definitely wasn't on no national level. And Drake ain't no nigga from no Atlanta. He from yeah, Toronto. That's true. But he found y'all, right? How did he find most of these people? How does he find people? Drake be searching for artists. This nigga smart. Up? How does he find these artists that aren't big? He go out and find the artists, find nigga. He a scout. Hold up, I gotta pause this shit. He a scout, nigga. He like Nick Saban, bro. He's the Nick Saban of rap, of the rap. You know what I'm saying? He the fucking Bruce Arians of the fucking rap game, nigga. Like, this nigga does that shit. He uses people He searches for niggas on the auction. Sure you feel me? always knows what's hot. Now, I'll even continue to further because, listen... I don't know why these rappers or people have this facade of these rappers that once they're on another level, they don't pay attention to anything beneath them. That's a lie. That's when they pay attention the most. Because when you're at that level, you're desperate to get more and more creativity and consistently I reinvent guess so. and create yeah. shit. And who he's, usually he's, does he's that speaking. the best? He's talking. Who's coming up. Okay? So I resent when people act like, like any of these guys are above the underground. That's number yeah. one. But number two, uh, and this is where I do agree with Offset, <laughs> because I disagree with him vehemently when he says that Drake didn't know about X. What the fuck are you talking about? Yeah, right? he did like, know X about was X. Buzzing a lot. Right? Yeah. Not only was X buzzing a lot, somehow he definitely knows about X. He definitely does know out, about and I'm not X. Sure if it was particularly Come on. About that song, or maybe just saying, "Hey, I fuck." <laughs> but he did know about him somewhat. But he did, did reach he out. Know about the song? Did he take the song? I am not claiming that. Now the second point which I agree with Offset, is actually the point where Offset says, yo, had Drake came to your bond hearing, y'all be cool as a motherfucker. That's a 100% right, Offset. 100% right. Now, I've called out X for 
if that nigga Drake came out with a fucking Kendrick Lamar disc, that shit probably be called like fucking 5 a.m. in Compton or some shit. You know how Drake be doing. Attention seeking, right? Some crazy he's admitting shit. he's attention seeking. Okay, he's not even lying about it. He says, "Yeah, yeah. I'm doing this shit to get." I guess some so. Attention. Right now, he also said in the interview with me, he said, of course, I wanted Drake to come to my goddamn bond hearing because I feel he could use his connection, and get me out of here. And also, if he got me out of here, I wouldn't be mad about the song. So Offset, you're 100 percent right with that. Yeah. However, and not justify what X is doing, but I have to give you because you have lost perspective because you're you got you got too much money now. OK, too much motherfucking money. So you've lost perspective. Let me give you the perspective of the independent artist, okay? You're a nigga locked in jail. Have no idea if you're coming out in the next That's like month or you're coming out in the next 10 years, okay? The only opportunity for success or real success, right? At least in terms of uh, rap sense, right? Is on the table. You have one song that's buzzing. It's paying all your motherfucking bills. You yeah. have no access to anything. That's feeding you, your lawyer bills, your court fees. That is feeding your family. Right? Nigga, academics be preaching. May have reached out to you before, and maybe not about that song, but you know he knows about you. All of a sudden, you hear the biggest yeah. rapper using your flow, okay? And I'm not gonna say your flow like you own it, but a flow that mirrors the hot song that you have, right? Now you know what's gonna happen. It's happened with Drum, right? His song is gonna be become so big, it's gonna drown your shit out. Your shit's about to just like it's just fluster out and die. So when you don't get that communication with said rapper, you gain resentment. You start to think that wow, why <laughs> this nigga academic shit with the fucking like videos and shit in the background. Just get his like, shit off, not caring about this nigga's him. weird as hell. Right? That resentment, people would deal with it differently. The Maybe I would have now came out and just said fuck Drake and all that shit, but you kind of I would have salty. That's salty. The nigga took my flow. I'd been like fuck you too. Doing all this. I just so said the while same shit. You might not always agree with it to some extent, especially with him going at Drake's mom. I don't respect it. But I could understand it, all right? And obviously, uh -oh. Offset has lost a goddamn grasp of what it means to be underground because the money, the riches, the fame, the bitches and bad and bougie shit that he's experiencing now, he don't remember when it when, when you were underground artist and you couldn't get a nigga to play your song. He don't remember when you were just looking for that brick. He's the guy now, and short-term memory usually happens, all right? Again, I think Drake gonna come out with an XX Tentacion on this song. Because he did also, talk about his mom. Stop pretending that these rappers, which are big, don't know about <laughs> underground shit, okay? If they got time enough to reach out indirectly or directly to little old academics on YouTube, you got me crying to me, not when well, he wasn't crying to me, but he was mad as a motherfucker at me in DMs over some shit. You think these guys don't pay attention to shit that's underground? How the fuck you're gonna be mad at an Instagram post than you are at shit set on the radio. You know why? Because these niggas keep their ears. That's true. Shit. Remember that. Get the comments, which you guys like them. Subscribe to watch academics. Definitely, he definitely. I would like to. He definitely knows who X is. We all know that. Ha. Ah. Anyways, I probably got like two more videos today. I might do. But um, yeah, I'm out.